Hi, my name is Jill Smith. I'm a senior from Gothenburg High School. And this is my poem entitled, I Can't Explain to My Mother Why the Mouthwash Bottle is Empty. This is something I swore I wouldn't write about because, there, because there's no way to put it without a 14 plus label and I don't want to write it any other way. The only reason I did it anyway is because my counselor told me that writing could be beneficial and I hope it is, but for somebody else who doesn't know how to write their own stories yet. I know this poem won't become a number one bestseller because who wants to hear another sob story about a girl who tried to contact a crisis hotline when her phone died and was left in dark silence. I don't want to personify my hands and say they were shaking like a scared child whose biggest fear was right before them because I was that scared child and no sort of description could show what made those shaky hands and wobbling feet move off the bed and slither towards the toilet. I know there's symbolism somewhere about the fact that one in my toothbrush makes me puke and the other cleans it up, but the vomit reminds me it's not supposed to be pretty. That's why the first four times I did it, I closed my eyes and flushed the toilet, and the first three times I wrote this, I deleted it. I'm still not used to it. And when I tear myself off the bathroom floor and feel tears running down my cheeks, I will remind myself that I'm not crying because of this depressing, angsty story. I'm crying because I was gagging. They don't write our stories right. Our stories are far too gory for them to hit the bookshelf, so use a metaphor to make this easier on everyone else. I am thrift shop trash, a book with folded edges and a broken spine. But uh, I have stains from last night's pages, stains from last night's dinner on my shirt, scratch that stains from last night's dinner on my pages. But if you decide to lounge into bed with me in between your palms, your search for a climax will be pointless because I'm too scared to kill myself and everybody else is too scared to write it. I'm an the who doesn't like writing endings because they're far too easy and nobody likes a story that you can predict. I don't want to be some quirky, relatable character because this shouldn't be. Puking up your food isn't a character trait. The only time they write decently about us is when the secondary characters who change the life of the main ones. And by that I mean, please stop puking. Don't you know how hard this is for me? As if dry heaving is the easiest thing that I will ever do. And after countless hours of downplaying the abuse I put myself through, I will finally label this story as a fairy tale because 50 pounds down and enough editing to make it look like a work of fiction finally puts me as a pretty protagonist. But how do I explain to somebody who doesn't deal with this that the antagonist is not the eating disorder for somebody who goes through with this, goes through with this, the villain is still me, but fatter.